I just barely upgraded to the pro monthly package and to show you guys some proof, let's go to the billing. And I just recently paid, literally today. Today is August 28th. So if you go here to view all payments, right here, date added, August 28th. So I paid the 31.96, which is that 20% off. So I just wanted to show you guys that to show you that I actually use this service and that I actually love it and I support it. So I want to give you guys the confidence to go ahead and feel comfortable with paying for the monthly subscription. So right here, as you guys can see, since I upgraded, there's a few things that have changed. So the account status is now currently following. It's follow extreme, unfollow extreme, and engagement like extreme as well. So I need to turn that on so that those are currently engaging on other people's accounts. Another thing that changed is my estimated new followers went up. So like I said, the free version is the fast version and the extreme version is only going to get you that many more followers. So if we do the quick math, I'm going to pull up my calculator. So I paid uh, the $39.95 per month. Divide that by $21.32. That equals a cent per potential customer, okay? So about two cents, if you round up, two cents per potential customer using STEM, okay? So that's why I really like using STEM is because if each follower turns into a customer or even every 100 followers turns into a two or three dollar customer, it's paying for itself over and over a thousand times. So that's one thing that you guys need to look at is what you put in is what you're going to get out, okay? So that's what I tell everyone is nothing in life is free, so you need to go and actually get something. You have to pay for it, and then you guys are going to see a return on your investment. And it may take some time, but it may happen really quick as well. So right here, estimated new followers, and then if you scroll down, you're going to see the best accounts targets and worst account targets. So this is something that's going to change as your account starts to interact with your basically target audience. And once it gets all the data, it's going to show your worst accounts and you're going to want to not target those. So you're going to want to delete those accounts. And then your best accounts, you're going to want to continue to target them. And then if they aren't the best, then go right here to target. And then you're going to want to add accounts to target. So you're going to search for more accounts. So accounts that are similar to your account. So my Zara account. And then you can also target hashtags which is kind of cool. So right here I am targeting Golden Doodle because that is exactly related to the account that I am growing. And then another one is the location. So if you guys are a small business or if you are wanting to target a specific audience within a certain area, you can target location as well. But for my account, I'm not targeting a location. I just have accounts and hashtags. You guys can go in and adjust that as well. So that's what you're going to want to do with that. And once you have all that set up, you have the right settings. Um, so let's go to general. You have all these settings set up. It's going to go back to basically default. So you need to go in and change it to uh, 2000, follow private accounts. Yes, gender everyone, profile picture. Yes, uh, only business accounts. No, minimum post, um, five to max. And then I think I did 50 to 2000. And then the minimum followers, um, we'll say 50 to the max followers, 8,000. Okay, so make sure you adjust those. Um, adjust the unfollow. You can adjust this to just the people that have stim have followed or, or anyone. And the same thing with engagement. The speed is extreme. You can adjust it to turbo or you can adjust it to fast as well. I'm going to leave it at turbo and then should stim allowed to target who anyone just people stim has followed i'm going to put um, people stim has followed and then the like limits so like i said minimum likes is zero and let's put 50 right here so those are the settings um oh and then also sleep i'm going to want my account to sleep and then it's going to start at um 1 a.m for seven hours, okay? Actually, I'm gonna adjust it to six. So once I do that, all my settings are set, 
And now we're going to go to the new follower DM, which is the next feature that comes with the pro package. And I have some templates set up and this is just going to basically give you guys a brief understanding of what I'm trying to do with this little feature. I'm trying to engage with my um, audience and I'm trying to get them to become a potential customer, client, uh, subscriber, or whatever it may be. So right here, the first message, hi, thanks for the follow. I hope you enjoy my puppy adventures. So anytime I get a new follower, it's going to say one of these three things. So um, it says, thank you for the follow. Here it says, how's it going? I was checking out your profile and I thought you might be interested in this Instagram growth tool. It has helped me grow multiple accounts over 10,000 followers. Check out the free trial and tell me what you think. And then I have my affiliate link, which I will go over affiliate marketing in the next section after the grow your Instagram account. I'm gonna go over everything that you guys need to know about affiliate marketing. But this basically is getting someone to click on this affiliate link and if they click on it and then they subscribe or they pay, I'm going to get an affiliate commission. So that's what that message is going to do. And as you guys can see, that's going to be super powerful because if they send that to all my new followers and I'm getting thousands of followers every single month, that's a potential of a thousand affiliate commission customers, okay? So that's why this auto DM is so crucial. Then we have over here, hello, I was looking at your profile and I thought you might be able to, uh, I thought I might be able to help you grow your following. Let me know what you think. And if they respond saying, yes, I'd love to, you can maybe work out a collaboration where you do um, a post together where you do a shout out for shout out or you basically send them your affiliate link and you basically show what um, this service does and what you're trying to accomplish. So you can adjust these messages, whether you're trying to sell your training course, you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, you have an online Shopify store, or you have an Amazon product you're trying to promote. You can basically include um, different uh, links. It doesn't have to be an affiliate link. It can be your link to your product that you're trying to sell. It can be whatever, and that's where the direct messages become super useful and that's where you start seeing the results from when you paid for that that monthly plan for the 39 bucks. So that's why it's so powerful and I would highly recommend to go in and adjust and come up with some cool unique messages. Um, make it look natural, don't make it look super spammy and make it look like it's coming from you. So. For example, it's coming from a dog. I hope you enjoy my puppy adventures. It's just something super simple. And as soon as they respond, then that strikes up a conversation. And then you can also maybe lead them into this. And then maybe the next message you can say, oh, what do you do? And then you can look at their account and kind of get a feel for what they do. And then you can send them your affiliate link. So I'll go over that in more detail in the next section. But just to kind of give you guys an overview of the auto DM, it's super useful. And I highly recommend using this and taking advantage of it. It saves you a lot of time and it also um, helps you guys get some um, affiliate commissions. And then right here, direct message schedule. Um, you can hit only send new followers DM during the following times. So I'm going to click this and I'm just going to do between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. This is just makes it look a little bit more natural for Instagram and also for the end user because if I'm sending a bunch of messages in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping, it doesn't um, look as natural. So those are a few of the settings that I have set up. And now you guys understand how to use STEM.